Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulls have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. We're in the Sunshine State. Raymond James Stadium will play host for this exciting college football encounter. Marshall is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Gets it out quickly. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 41. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. That's a team First down. First and ten, ball on the 23-yard line. Makes the first down catch. Touchdown, Tigers! Decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. Clemson up six. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Tigers entered today's game ranked eighth in the country. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Tigers take it by three. Harry, the kicker turn. looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, at the 30. And down he goes at the 45. Morelson's running style is set to give this defense fits right here at home. He's on the field for the first time, and you can just feel it. The fans want to see him handle the football. Yeah, the home crowd really loves this guy. He's definitely one of the fan favorites, and he should be. He's one of the most exciting running backs in all of college football, and I'm sure this offense wants to put him in a place where he can have some success early and often. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he adds the extra point. one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback well they got the result you always want on the last drive let's see if it happens again well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it I would suggest trying to bring more pressure try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 44-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 46. Personal foul, basement, defense. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. First down. Here's the give. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Bennett gains about two yards on the run. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. High takes it left. He's on the run. Touchdown, Clemson. Clemson is up by six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 72-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 22. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. To the 20, to the 10, here he goes. Touchdown, huge play. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's have a look at what's going on in Corvallis. And for Oregon State, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. 
Thomas is lined up to kick this one off. Perry back to return. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing. The pressure got there, and it's intercepted. Touchdown, Tigers. Tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Brought down at the 14. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure, that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. First and 10. Ball on the 20. He's taken down around the 10 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Roger, Roger. Check four, check four. Check three, check three, check three. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Touchdown, Clemson! He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the nine yard line. And for McGrew, it's been a rough night. Sometimes when you're a quarterback and you have these kind of performances, there's a tendency to want to press and just try to get it all back in one play. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Gordon was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the nine. Gets out to around the 22. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Quick strike to the receivers, and they make the stop around the 41-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Taken down at the 40. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Hey, 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 hey. 
caught. Enough for the first down. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. From the 22-yard line, first down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 91-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Marshall has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Clemson's taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 40-yard line. First down. Slings it. And down he goes at the 43. First down. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. He makes the catch and has a first down. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Clemson in control. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Thomas gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 10. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, but he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. They'll run the no huddle here. If they have some success with it early, they'll maybe continue to run it. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. 
was just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Clemson up by a bunch. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He finally goes down at the 38. First down. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's looking for his man. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's a team team. First, First down. down. First down. Hey. Check, 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 check. Check three, check three. Oh, I switch, oh. I switch, I switch. Oh. Oh. Big opening. The five. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Shift, shift, shift. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We take you out to a battle in the Pac-12. Let's take a look at this one again. The Beavers unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And they tackle him at the 42. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. We're through one quarter. The Tigers with a huge lead. Well, that was a lopsided as you're going to find a first quarter. Second quarter just about set to begin. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Has some daylight. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Clemson with a big advantage. Check three, check three. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. Jones brings him down at the 50-yard line. That makes it second and six. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's third down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. He 
He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. It's going to take a lot of will to keep up the fight and determination as they face a huge deficit, but still plenty of time left. Five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He can run. And he's tackled at midfield. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. So it's a short yardage situation on first down after the penalty. He lets it fly. And it's caught. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. Now he's scrambling. The 10, and they make the stop around the 8-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll work the left side. And he's in there. Touchdown. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Beavers came into the game ranked third. That's not going to last. So you went into this game thinking it was going to be an easy W? Better think again. We've got an upset brewing. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Clemson looking to put this game away if they score here. Got it on the quick throw. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He's under some heat. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he's taken down at the 47. First down. From the 47 yard line. First down. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Let's go deep. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And they'll get him in the backfield. From the 
the 35 yard line. Second down. At the 38. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Clemson up big right now in this one. Defense coming and the ball comes out. Scoops up the loose ball. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who crowded it for his side. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out. And most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback. And the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Picks up the loose ball. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. They'll get him for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 41. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it third and three. Clemson, up big. Off the left side. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. That's cutting it really close. But they converted on that run by an eyelash. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Check three, check three. He's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws it away. From the 33-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. time out of the half. Wolf picks up about four yards with a catch. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks away. And it's good! The Tigers wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. At the 30. 
Knocked out of bounds at the 49. Kirk, the way these offenses are playing, it's like NCAA football 14, EA Sports. It's all over the place. Brad, this reminds me, me and you last night with the, with the controllers in our hands and both of us putting up points, even though you did a nice job there for a beginner, partner. It's still only the second quarter. We got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Caught over the middle. Tackle made at the 24. down now they need to get it to the 17 complete brought down nothing to it why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down that just baffles me every time I see that they come out in a five wide set and down he goes around the 14 yard line a quarterback in the gun with five receivers gonna go across the middle caught he's tackled right around the four yard line look like offsides here's the official call Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. The Bulls use their second timeout. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. This is the eighth play of this drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. The Bulls, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Just inside the five. Second down. And he's tackled at the one. One half remains, but it looks like we might have a major upset brewing. The Tigers are up big. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. Hey, watch that. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. 
Quick strike, and he drops it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Brad, I'm all for continuing the fight and continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team, they're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. From the 40-yard line, first down. Clemson is winning big. They'll drop him for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they make the stop around the 36 yard line. That'll bring up 36. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Check 15, check 15. He throws right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He goes downtown. Doesn't get there. Makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 28 yard line. Offense lines up in a five wide set. A defense anticipating pass here. He zips it. They can't connect. Incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Interception. You know, you look at this offense and they're making mistakes, but how about the effort and the tenacity from this defense? Even with the big lead, they're not giving up. I think they want to continue to blow this team out. First and 10, ball on the 20. Clemson up by a bunch. Bennett gets the ball. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up second and three. Side. Heading for the corner. 
And he's finally shoved out at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. Five wide. Makes it to the 34. That's a deal on the ground. That makes it second and two. Come on, Mike. 55. Right there in the middle. 55. Get high, baby. Get up. Let's go. I do it. Two step for you. Run, 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 run. Little handoff. And he has it on the corner. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. From the 27 yard line. First down. Pitches back. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. First down. Clemson looking to add to this big lead here. Hands it off inside, brought down. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. On the ground, up the middle. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it third and seven. It's the ninth play of the drive. Palmer gains about four yards there. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Thomas gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Bulls are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's level at the 33. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Check, check. He's going to try and scramble. The Cavalry's coming. Brought down around the 37-yard line. McGrew gets about four yards on the play. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Rolling out to the left side. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Alert! 
Makes it out to about the 39. He's scrambling. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this play is number eight on the drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Boy, the defense is very fortunate that the tight end was not able to make that catch. The last thing you want to see as a safety or a linebacker is a big, strong, athletic tight end with a catch with a lot of steam build up. Nobody wants to have to make that tackle. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Kill, kill. He's in for the conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. The Bulls quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I don't think it looks like he's in that much pain. And I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day's over. Three-yard gain by the running back. It was a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Can you believe it? We head to the fourth quarter in what has been a stunning game. Clemson's running away with it. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Clemson in control. Tackle made at the 28. Nothing going there for the halfback on that option play. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Catches it, and that's all. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Newell is the putter. down at the 34. The Bulls have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And down he goes at the 37. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Kill, kill. 
They bring him down. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. So the sack makes this a second and long. They'll bring him down at about the 13. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get to that quickly. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. They'll go for two in this situation. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Checking in on action in College Park. And for Michigan, they're sleepwalking Frazier through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. There isn't much time left. This isn't what you'd normally see here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Clemson up by a big margin. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Back's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down oh, around the 28-yard line. Gain of four yards. Third down. down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check 59. Check 99. Check 99. He goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Perry is back deep to return the punt. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Personal foul. Basement. Defense. Defense. Still, Still first, first down. down. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. That makes it second and ten. Easy, easy, easy. Flair, Flair. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. He lets it fly, and it's intercepted. Brad, I'm all for continuing the fight and continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team. They're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. Check, 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 check. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 20. Clemson looking to build on this commanding lead here. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He rifles it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. We've got a first and ten. 
Ball on the 50. It looks like they're going to blitz. He tackles him for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. comes a pressure that close to being intercepted the punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here he drops it They'll bring him down at the 32. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Easy, easy, play. Easy, easy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gets rid of it quickly. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Well, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? From their own 46 yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. three yards to get the first down here on third down let's go, let's go. Yes, looks yes. like he flinched down there on the line All -star. All -star. All -star. All -star. it'll be third down again after that penalty yeah now they have more yards to pick up for the first down And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Again with the run. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout. It has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go. should do it our final tally in this one the Tigers 62 the Bulls 35 the Bulls 35
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.